Featherwork, also known as acta plumería, is an art form that was used in pre-conquest and colonial times in Mexico. Artists use a variety of techniques to create an image of feathers. The earliest known method was to tie the feathers together into small bunches that were glued together. They were also layered. The shafts of the feathers were sewn together using a special cotton thread. This technique is called enlazado and was used on the headdress I'll be analyzing. The final technique was gluing feathers one by one onto a wooden surface. This required the use of glue that came from a rare orchid. The mass of St. Gregory feather painting was created using this technique. So who were the artists? They were highly skilled feather workers called amantecas. This is because they lived in a neighborhood called Amatla, which was a district of Tenochtitlan. Royal amantecas would work in the emperor's palace in a room called the Totocali, which meant house of birds. Feathers were valuable to the Aztec, some more than others. The most valuable feathers came from hummingbirds, mallard ducks, and the quetzal. These feathers were incredibly valuable for their iridescent color change in the sun. Artisans had to have permission to use the feathers of the Quetzal bird because it was one of the most sacred to the Aztec. If a bird was killed, that was a crime punishable by death. Other commonly used feathers came from the scarlet macaw, flamingos, cotinga, golden eagle, and the heron. How did they acquire feathers for art? Tropical feathers were traded throughout the Aztec Empire, so the artists had access to birds that weren't local. The Quetzal's feathers came from Guatemala and Honduras, while hundreds of birds of various species were also kept alive and bred in cages. Conquered regions would often pay tribute in feathers to the capital. This is a replica of the original headdress that resides in a museum in Austria. It has over 450 Quetzal tail feathers. These long, vibrant feathers, placed in a half-circle shape, come from male Quetzals who usually have only about two or three of these tail feathers. It also has pink flamingo plumes and bright blue Cotinga feathers. The headdress is adorned with gold accents and studded with jade discs. This piece is believed to have been used as an offering worn by a priest during ritual representation of the gods. Where did it come from and where did it go? This piece of Mesoamerican art most likely belonged to the court of Moctezuma II, the ninth Aztec ruler who reigned from 1502 until 1520. It is thought to have been passed from Moctezuma to Hernán Cortés, who prepared three large shipments to be sent to Spain for Charles V. This shipment contained over 200 feather items, but sadly, many monasteries didn't know how to maintain the items, so they deteriorated over time. In the late 19th century, Austrian geologist Ferdinand von Hochstetter, director of the Museum of Natural History, found the headdress in Ambras Castle. Ferdinand thought that the item was used as a flag, but American anthropologist Zelia Nuttall contradicted him by publishing her findings, saying that it was a headdress. Many colleagues weren't persuaded by this until she wore a homemade replica of the headdress. Since then, it's been displayed in the Museum of Vienna and the Museum of National Anthropology in Mexico City has a replica. <laughs>